uh, by the Committee on Labor and Social Welfare. Yes, I want to start definitely by Senator Kajwang, who was gracious to second it. And also, um, help us deal with the zealous Senator Fonarok together with Senator Mutula. I'm grateful for that. Um, Madam Speaker, I want to thank Senator Musuruve and I want to assure her um, and even invite her to take a tour of uh, this Dalora uh, facility. It indeed has provisions for persons with a disability um, that was incorporated. And again, I am grateful um, for the foresight, the foresight of my predecessor, predecessor in Nairobi, Sonko, um, and, and the team, including the CAC, Janet Mudoni um, Oko, um, for having really uh, felt um, the plight of these young people. Um, Senator Cherege has made very important points that I completely agree with. Um, and uh, of course, he kept talking about your region. When I was speaker, athletes are from all over the country. Um, even in Western, when I was speaker, I'm the son of a champion athlete uh, who has won gold and silver for this country. Um, my mother, the late Emily uh, Kubasu uh, Sakaja, who was a 200 meters champion. Yeah, so it's not just in uh, the home of champions, was in Gishu and uh, Nandi and those counties. Um, sports indeed is an economic frontier that needs to be nurtured. We've seen world over how our stars, even from that same Dandora Stadium, have gone to represent this country. And we must really nurture it and see it as an economic frontier. We've said that as a committee, that even the economic survey must include, um, you know, some of these indicators so that people can invest in uh, in sports, in the arts, in film, in music, because those are the new ways to do work. If you look at the SDGs, um, the SDG number eight on work and the future of work, it includes this, uh, you know, creative economy and sports. Um, I want to thank also Senator Kavindu, and she's mentioned some of the areas, Matungulu, um, where the MP Mule is my friend, and... Uh, and, and a lot of those areas, Madam Speaker, um, a lot has changed in sporting fraternity. It's now national. The traditional areas that produce certain grades have now moved. Um, we have rugby going around the country. We have soccer. We have all of this. And I'm and I'm happy that, uh, Madam Speaker, with the support of the Senate, we can get this done. And as I've said, in as much as it was only one in Andorra, we'll make sure moving forward um, that Madam Speaker can look at Umeme Ground, in Ziwani, you can look at Woodley Grounds and Kibda constituency, Kawangware, Kibuini and the rest to make sure they come to par with the standard that has been set or that is being set. Finally, Madam Speaker, and most importantly, I want to thank the young people of Dandora. Madam Speaker, if you look at the status of that stadium, for three years no work has been done. There are a lot of expensive equipment, including public address, their speakers, their sound systems, their amplifiers, their microphones. None of them, Madam Speaker, has been touched or vandalized. The young people there themselves uh, are the ones who have been protecting and who single out Godfrey, um, the chair of the stadium, the 12, 12 teams that play, uh, the, or, or rather that you know used to play in the stadium from that area, um, the MCAs um, uh, from Dandora 1, Dandora 2, Dandora 3 and 4 wards, uh, um, who we have worked closely, and the members of county assembly that have really played their part in making sure this is done. It had reached the point beyond which they could uh, sort out. And, um, and, and I note what Senator Kajong said. Um, the counties are the first, the county assemblies are the first port of uh, oversight. But I think it was now beyond them. Even the governor felt her hands are tied. Um, no one in the county wanted to touch this um, where it had reached because of fear of repercussions. But we said, as a Senate, we have the authority and mandate to oversight all these state organs, um, not just the county government, but also the investigative agencies. Um, and uh, we hold the, the arm and the knife. And so we're giving them this clearance so that we can finish it for the interest of the people. This does not stop any investigation. This does not stop any um, you know, agency looking into the matter. But we don't throw out the baby in the bathwater. The young people of the world still, and they still deserve um, value for their money, and they deserve to be treated as first-class citizens. Um, and also, the longer we take, Madam Speaker, the more we waste the resources that have already been pumped in taxpayers' money from Nairobi and from the rest of the country that has already been put in. So, Madam Speaker, I thank you for this. Um, I thank you for the for the opportunity, and I'm glad. I want to thank my committee members, especially Senator Hika, who accompanied me, um, Senator Manga, who came, Mama Miradi. She is also um, very keen on this on this matter, in as much as she's not a member of the committee, and uh, the rest of the committee that Madam Speaker, including my secretariat led by Monate Shaban. 
and the team. A uh, young man called Kibet Kevin was in charge of this issue. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I beg to reply. Um, and Madam Speaker, my reading is that it's not a matter that affects counties, but I will stand guided because you could be able to put the question or you can do it with the others, uh, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senators. Uh, this matter does not concern counties, so I will propose, I'll put the question for a voice vote. Honorable Senators, I now put the question that the Senate adopts the report by the Standing Committee on Labor and Social Welfare on the status of the new Dandora Stadium in Nairobi City County laid on the table of the Senate on Thursday, 2nd December 2021. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Aye. 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 Will as many as of the corner say nay? The ayes have it. Uh, honorable yes. Senators, uh, for the convenience of the House, we will not continue with the Committee of the Whole, and I would like to announce the orders that are being deferred because the remaining orders are on the Committee of the Whole, and we are going to start them tomorrow. I want to urge all the chairmen of the committees and all those members who are concerned to come and prosecute their uh, bills or motions. Order number 10, the Kenyan Signed Language Bill by Senator Ketrut Musurube and Senator Professor Margaret Kamar. Order number 11, the County Hall of Fame Bill by Senator Kipchumba Murgomen. Order number 12, the Law of Succession Amendment Bill, Senate Bills number 15 of 2021 by Senator Abishiro Ahlake. Order number 13, the 